This is a special presentation of Riverfront Broadcasting Sports. It's time for Pier Governor Sports on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. Pier Governor Athletics are brought to you by Avera St. Mary's Hospital, Xander Auto Parts, Bank West, All Around Graphics, Weatherall Roofing, Faith Lutheran Church, and Billion Financial. Jost trying to get one forward for Davis. Davis in the shot, and that one goes through! How about that for offense? Avery Davis scores, and it's one nothing for Pierre. And also brought to you by the Clubhouse Inn and Suites, Birding Electric, Slumberland Furniture, Kruger Contracting, B&B Equipment, Bridget M Photography, Edward Jones Financial, Dakota Sprinkler, and Sioux Nation. Empty backfield again. Keenels right up the middle on the design run. All the way through, Keenels! 25, 20, 50, 10, 5. Touchdown, 50-yard run for Keenels. Two minutes to go, and the governor strikes first here this evening. Your governor athletics is also brought to you by First Dakota National Bank. Gales Gas. Service Master. Gateway, Ford, Lincoln, and Toyota. Purist Foods. Kathy Sun and Shine Properties, All Pro Towing, and Pure Dental Clinic. Cross comes in, a shot and a goal scored right over to Ryland Derry. What a pass from Cole Peterson. And Ryland Derry is there just to get the foot on it and redirect it into the goal. And the Govs lead it. Governor's Athletics is also brought to you by Olsen Plumbing, Lamb Motor, Midwest Cooperative. May Adam Lawfer, Awahi Federal Credit Union, the Association of Weed and Pest, and Fisher Rounds. So the Governors, for the fourth straight year, are the Class 11 AA state champions. They beat the Brookings Bobcats 38 to 6 here in the Dakota Dome. Here, Governor Athletics is also brought to you by Shane's Pharmacy, Todd's Electric, Wagner Auto. First United Methodist Church, East Pier Landscape and Garden Center, Country Carpet and Flooring, and Black Hills Federal Credit Union. And now, with the call of today's game, here's award-winning KCCR Sports Director, John Winkler. And from Riggs High School, we welcome you as the Pier Governors, host the Huron Tigers. To be the second time in 12 days, the Governors and Tigers will battle here in volleyball action in Class AA as the season continues to wind down. John Wickler here on this Tuesday evening as the Governors welcome in the Huron Tigers, the first of the four final regular season games, all played here at Riggs High School as they'll take on Huron tonight, Douglas on Friday, Brookings next Tuesday, and Sioux Falls Jefferson the following Tuesday to close out the regular season. The Governors coming in at 13-3, 10 games over 500, number three team in double A, and number four team in the uh, latest media polls, taking on this Huron Tiger team who has dipped a little bit since the last time that we saw this Huron Tiger team. They lost to Roosevelt in five sets, and they lost to Jefferson in four sets, as they have fallen now to the number 12 team in double A, which is gonna be a, a big factor. This is a desperate team coming in. We'll talk with Coach Tiffany Stosher here in just a little bit. Uh, it, it's a very tough for the Pier Governors here this evening because you, you gotta try and beat a team twice in a matter of 12 days. It's hard to beat a team twice. And that little time frame, this isn't a team, this isn't one versus 16, uh, one versus 19, or three versus 18, 19, whatever it is. This is a, a, a Huron Tiger team that's the number 12 and is much better than a 12 seed, but because of how good double-A volleyball is, it makes it uh, any loss really hurts you. So this, this game becomes all important for Huron. It's very important for the Pier Governors, but it's more of a desperate need for the Huron Tigers to try and get a win over the Pier Governors, and we'll talk with Coach Tiffany Stocher about that. It's peak night here at, uh, at Rakes High School, honoring those that uh, uh, dealing with breast cancer and every, you know everybody knows someone that's been dealing with some kind of a cancer uh, and, and the, the thoughts and uh, prayers will be with those and the, the minds will be with those that are dealing with it and a, a chance to uh, 
be able to recognize those, and especially for some on the team dealing with some family members and are dealing with cancer. So it's always a great night when you get a pink night. The student section's got all their pink clothes on. Uh, they're ready to go, and the uh, coaches dressed in pink as well. So it's going to be a, a fun night here at Riggs High School as a peer governor is hosted here on Tigers. The governors, depending on how things finish out and really – a win here tonight will pretty much guarantee you that spot that you'll be home for the Sodak 16 playoff game, which means the Governors will not have to travel again. And the time that they will have to travel, they want to. They'll be in this rapid city for the state tournament coming up November 18th through the 20th. We'd be semifinal day one day, well, one month from now as the Governors are going to be looking to be in that state semifinal uh, coming up here in, uh, in, a, in a month. Uh, they love to get to that state tournament and win that at least win that first round game and put themselves playing Friday night a potential to still play for a state championship going into Saturday. Here on Tigers again, they're coming in having lost three in a row. The Governors are able to sweep them on the road, which is a tough thing to do at the Huron Arena. Jefferson, it's going to be Roosevelt one in five, and then Jefferson won in four sets. The Governors, after that win against the Huron Tigers, they came and won a five-step thriller against Harrisburg that following Tuesday. They beat Yankton last Thursday in straight sets, so these teams are going opposite directions right now, where the Governors have now won four in a row, and Huron has lost three in a row. We're one of uh, plenty of games here in AA Volleyball. We'll talk about all those matchups that are going on tonight as well. We'll talk with Coach Tiffany Stosher coming up here in just a couple of minutes. You're listening to the pregame show as the Pure Governors host the Huron Tigers at Riggs High School. Back in four minutes with our interview with Coach Tiffany Stosher. You're listening to uh, Pure Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. Insurance. We all need it to protect our homes, health, businesses, and belongings. But having adequate coverage is just the beginning. You also need the support of professionals who stand by your side to protect what's important to you. Fisher Rounds & Associates combines the coverage you want with the commitment you need. Fisher Rounds & Associates, at your service, at your side. With offices in Pierre, Mitchell, Watertown, Sioux Falls, and Rapid City. BankWest Insurance has the expertise and resources to deliver personalized service and customized solutions. As an independent agency, we shop dozens of companies to get you the best coverage at the best price. As your trusted choice for insurance coverage, we promise to go the extra mile so you can rest assured your loved ones and your assets are protected. Contact your local agent with BankWest Insurance to work for you. Not a deposit, not FDIC insured, not insured by any federal agency, not guaranteed by any bank, may go down in value, equal opportunity provider. All Pro Towing and Repair offers 24 7 light, medium, and heavy towing, jump starts, lockouts, roadside assistance, and recovery. The All Pro Towing and Repair team of professionals offers prompt, courteous, and top notch services to Central South Dakota. If you find yourself in need of a tow, jump, or lockout, contact All Pro Towing and Repair, 605 669 2075. That's 605 669 2075. Pictures are memories we want to last forever. For those special times, call Bridget M. Photography, a unique boutique photography studio offering family portraits, children, seniors, and even your pets. They're available for weddings, commercial events, and sports photography. Stop in and visit their studio in Pier, or look over their website at BridgetMPhoto.com. Pictures and memories that will last forever. From Bridget M. Photography in Pier. Building a home. It's the biggest investment most of us make in a lifetime. Not to mention it's a decision that, well, you pretty much live with day and night. The quality of the workmanship stares back at you like a reflection. It also affects the value of your investment. Choosing the right contractor is critical. Kruger Contracting is that contractor. Call 222-2523. Quality workmanship and materials completed on time. Kruger Contracting, in a word, quality. Call 222-2523. Sioux Nation in Fort Pier is a proud supporter of area athletes and their fans. Sioux Nation of Fort Pier knows it takes hard work to achieve success in sports and the support of great people. That's why Sioux Nation of Fort Pier is the place for all of your feed, seed, animal health, and grilling needs. They work hard for the community and are thankful for the support of their great customers. Visit Sioux Nation in Fort Pier, 504 Deadwood Street. Sioux Nation supports area athletes. Looking for your next new or used car, truck, or SUV? Then go no further than the comfort of your own home. Shop online at lammotor.com. 
on LambMotor.com, you'll find the vehicles Lambs has in stock. You can schedule a test drive or your vehicle's next tune-up all online. New or used, shop for it all online anywhere you are. Lamb Motor has the right vehicle for you. Lamb Motor in Oneida and online, LambMotor.com. At Black Hills Federal Credit Union, our top priority is providing value to our members. Since 1941, we have helped our neighbors buy homes and vehicles, finance their farms and ranches, insure their assets, and retire comfortably. From Custer to Sioux Falls, we live and work in our communities, and we treat our members like family. Visit bhfcu.com to learn more about how you can join. BHFCU is member-owned, not-for-profit, and federally insured by NCUA. As we welcome you back to the pregame show here on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports, joining me is Coach Tiffany Stosher of the Pier Governor Volleyball Team as you get a chance to play this here on Tiger Team again. And I'm I'm sure both teams are probably going, why not? Why why wait? Uh, you know, two weeks. Let's just play 12 days later. But it, it, it's a, a bit of a challenge, especially for you guys winning that first game. And I, I'm sure they probably say differently that they would like to win that first game. But now you got to try and beat them again. How difficult is it to beat a team two times in a matter of two weeks? Yeah, it's extremely difficult. You know, um, I'm sure that they uh, went ahead and, you know, scouted and took notes on what to do differently this time, and we did the same thing. And so um, it's it's really hard because the, the feelings are still there. I know they're coming in here. This would be a big win for them, so they're going to be as hungry as anybody. And, and if you're going to play a team that close together, you don't want it to be here on. So, um we're expecting them to come out with everything they got. We're going to need to be ready. You know, most times when you see a team a second time, you, you look at some of the film, but not all the film because the teams are a little bit different. But being a matter of less than two weeks, you probably can almost take everything from that from that film in that game because you guys are pretty much still the same team. Yeah, yeah. I'm expecting them to do a lot of the same, and I did watch um, their latest two games too. You know, this last one against Jefferson, and and they're still doing the same thing, same tendencies. So um, we've moved our defense a little bit to prepare for some things that didn't work for us the first time. Um, we can't count on them to have the same serving and hitting errors that they did when we played them the first time. So we made some adjustments, and we're going to have to be ready to go on offense. Uh, this year on team uh, coming in, they're looking for that Sodak 16 spot to be able to host uh, host team, and obviously these become a little bit more urgent to win, uh, more so than you guys. Although you want to keep that number three spot, uh, so a team maybe playing a little bit desperate. Uh, what what does that say to you? It just it tells me that they're going to be hungry and they'll do whatever it takes. Um, you know, it, it means a lot to them right now to get a win. You know, they'd get a good 50 points if they could win tonight. So. Um, they're going to come in here. I expect them diving into bleachers, selling out, and doing whatever it takes to get a win. Uh, Injury-wise, everybody's starting to get on the mend. Sickness-wise, everybody getting on the mend. Uh, how important is that uh, at, at the stretch run of the season here? Uh, yes, you're at home, but how much? How important is it to start to get healthy before you get to the end of the year? Yeah, we want them to feel good, feel healthy and strong. Um, everybody is back. Everybody's fine. I think we're through the little um, flu-like sickness that we had the last week and a half. So. Um, as far as I know, everybody's ready to go tonight. Uh, you get a chance to play at home to finish out the season, four straight games at home. Also, how important, you know, we talked on Coach's Corner about that, but just how important is it to be able, now that you've started this, you're going to start this run, how just how important is it to be at home to finish out the regular season? Yeah, this year especially, there's a closeness um, between our team and the community. And so, um, you know, tonight's pink night. It's special for us. We've got, you know, we've got moms with cancer on our team, and we've got, you um, uh, a lot of people that we're playing for. So when you can feel as close to the community and as close to the school as we do, it's like having a seventh player out there. And so um, I'm expecting good things. Um, I know our girls are energized and excited when we play at home. You know, and, and you mentioned with the Pink Night, uh, it's a very special tradition to do that in the month of October. And you get a chance to, you, you, you might be on the road and see other teams doing it, but to be at home, to be able to do that, it means just a little bit more and is a lot more special to be able to be on, on the home floor doing that. Yeah, it really does. You know, we all know somebody, and, and like I said, we've got family members here tonight that we're playing for, and, um, you know, it, it's a it's a good distraction for the girls. You know, when we start the game, when the, when the clock starts, we want to um, be ready to play volleyball, but all of these things, the raffle, the cause, it's all good, and um, it's a good lesson for girls outside of the game. All right, what's it going to take to knock off here on for the second time in 12 days? It's going to take a lot of aggression and minimal errors. Um, we've got to control what we do on our side of the net um, and try and control the entire game, force them out of system as much as possible, and stay aggressive at every aspect. 
Coach, I appreciate the time. Good luck tonight. Thanks, John. Back with more of the pregame show next here on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. It takes hard work to reach goals. It's a truth that applies to more than just sport. Your financial goals. You work hard for your money. You deserve an investment strategy that lines up with your game plan. Your local Edward Jones Financial Advisor can help. If your investments aren't getting you closer to the win, visit edwardjones.com or stop by your local peer area Edward Jones office for a financial review. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. It is time to control noxious weeds. Do you have a control plan in place? If not, contact your local weed and pest supervisor to help you set up a plan. Effort now will save you time and money in the future. This is Paul Johnson, South Dakota State University Extension Weed Science Coordinator, asking for your support to get this statewide noxious weed problem under control. As long as you have a local cooperative, you'll never farm alone. At CHS Midwest Cooperative, our team is your team, ready to help you make the decisions that are vital to your operation. From the seed, plant health, and marketing the grain, to fuel to keep you running, the feed to supplement your herds, and the financing programs to make it all possible. We're here for you. Give CHS Midwest Cooperative a call today and let us show you the value of the co-op. Local, loyal, and trusted for generations. When a disaster damages your home or business, you need immediate support from experts you can count on. Service Master is there for your burst and leaking pipes, basement flooding, drying and dehumidification, roof leaks and failures, carpet and upholstery. We know your situation is unique. That's why we give every type of damage in every building the individual attention of certified experts who have the real world experience to come up with the best solution. No type of damage is too big or too small for us to handle. We're standing by 24 7. Call Service Master 844 902 2938. At Shane's Pharmacy, your health care is important, and Shane wants to be the pharmacist to take care of you. Shane's Pharmacy will make sure your prescriptions are filled in a timely manner. They will answer your questions, and they will even deliver to your home or office. Call 223-9200. Shane's Pharmacy, the pharmacy you know and trust. The number again is 223-9200. Shane's Pharmacy in Fort Pierre, proud to support high school athletics. Let Country Carpet and Flooring help you update your home or office with the latest fashion trends. With over 30 years of experience, we can help you find the right flooring or window treatments for your needs. Stop down to 414 East Sioux Avenue or call for an appointment at 224-9297 for your free consultation and estimate. Go Govs! This fall, sip on a warm, soothing apple cider and bathe in the radiance of the changing colors before you smash that hot mug on the driveway and join First Dakota to bank some noise for fall sports. Stop for goal line stands, holler for a game-winning ace, and go berserk for a chip in from the rock. Let's give the home team all we've got. Bank some noise with us at First Dakota National Bank. Open a new account online today at firstdakota.com, member FDIC. Faith Lutheran Church prays for God's blessings to all of our athletes and their families. We're proud of the commitment and dedication that you give to your team. We would love for you to join us and celebrate the successes that God gives to us on the field, in the classroom, and throughout our lives. You can worship with us at Faith Lutheran Church on Sundays at 8.30 and 11 a.m. on Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. or you can watch online at faithluth.com slash livestream. As we welcome you back here to Riggs High School, we're getting set for first serve between the Pier Governors and the Huron Tigers. Good to have the Pet Band in, uh, in, in the gym tonight. Always good to have uh, a little bit extra extra noise that the student section will provide during the match. But uh, outside of the match, it's good to have the, the pep band uh, back once again for the Superior Governor squad. Tonight, we're looking at a, at some pretty good matchups across AA. Aberdeen Central and Mitchell, that's the, the top one on, on my list, and that's an 8-9 matchup. That could be a potential preview of what the Soda Act 16 will have. Douglas playing Lee Deadwood in a AA versus A matchup. Harrisburg against Sioux Falls Christian, that's a good AA team versus a very good A team. Roosevelt and Brookings. Uh, Brookings right now is at 15 a win, could potentially move them up into the spot of 14, which 
potentially could see the Governors play when it comes down to the end of the season. Jefferson and Watertown, that's the 10-11 matchup right now in AA. So that's a big game for both those teams to try and get a win, both right under 500 right now. Lincoln and O'Gorman, that's one of the games, that's probably the game to watch. Lincoln at number seven, O'Gorman at number two. Uh, Spearfish and Hot Springs playing in Washington, taking on Brandon Valley. Boy, there's some really good AA games. Washington, Brandon Valley might be the best one. He kept going down the list and it kept getting better as we kept going down the list. Washington, Brandon, one versus four. That's a huge game. Washington lost their first game uh, this past week, 22 and one now on the season. Brandon Valley at 19 and seven. The Pier Governor team coming in there at 13 and three. The Huron Tigers are at eight and nine. And for Pierre, they uh, they 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 need this win to keep pace to stay at number three. They want to finish at number three. Uh, it would be. You know, O'Gorman and Washington, if you played them in the state semifinal, it's almost pick your poison who it's going to be. However, to be that three seed, you feel pretty good about beating a six seed over maybe a, a five seed or maybe a little bit easier of a game. There's no easy games in the state tournament. Uh, but to be at number three just makes you probably feel a little bit more confident than even being at number four going into the state tournament. And again, you got to win that game in, uh, when it comes down to the Sodak 16 to get into the state tournament. But the Governors uh, facing that 14 seed right now. Rapid C, Stevens would be their team to face. Yankton at number 13. I would expect them to go up. Huron might be a team that slides down if they can't figure things out and will have a uh, somewhat of a tough uh, tough schedule to finish out the season with both Rapid City schools, Mitchell, Gorman, and Brandon Valley. They're looking at maybe two wins. They, they might drop down to that 14 spot if they're not careful. And so this could be also a potential of a Sodak 16, which would be three times in a, a matter of a month that these two teams would face off against each other. But it would be back here at Riggs High School. That is if the governors don't uh, drop any spots in the standings and potentially could even move up. You're not really expecting to down 0.9 points to O'Gorman. And of course, Washington with 46.087 seem to be a lock for that number one spot unless they falter down the stretch in the last couple of games. But the Governors are sporting the pink jerseys tonight. Taking on the Huron Tigers, who'll be wearing their gray jerseys with those uh, orange numbers. The Governors with pink and white, uh, with the only Addie Cumbo wearing the uh, the true pure colors with the, the pure green and, and then uh, the Governor green and the black jersey for the libero for this pure Governor squad. So Pierre takes on Huron here this evening in the pink nights. We will step aside and we'll come back with first serve. You're listening to Pierre Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. The lawyers at the May Adam Law Firm in Pier know how important your families are to you. If you've been putting off getting your affairs in order, know that the May Adam Law Firm is available to counsel you through your questions and help you get the documents in place so that you've made your loved ones secure. Call them at 224-8803 and they can chat with you about how to document your concerns and care for your family. We're all in this together and the May Adam Law Firm is ready and able to help. The frigid air of winter and the blistering heat of summer can really put a dent in your pocketbook. The gang at Weatherall Roofing and Insulation in Pierce say, just foam it. Saving money on your energy bills is what it's all about with Weatherall Roofing and Insulation. Let Weatherall Roofing and Insulation help you save money with their custom spray foam or blow-in fiberglass insulation. Call 224-7982 for a free estimate. And remember, just foam it. Confidence professional care, experience, and diverse care for all ages are what you should be looking for in dental care. And that's exactly what you'll receive from Dr. Monty Bechtold and Dr. Murray Thompson at Peer Dental Clinic. You can expect friendly, caring staff who are concerned about your dental health and offer you complete confidence with routine checkups, early morning appointments, emergency treatment, and the latest in dental technology. Local dental treatment, all at Peer Dental Clinic. Call 224-5355 or stop by their office at 640 East Sioux Avenue in Pier. Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pierre still wants your trade or your spare vehicle. And we're willing to give you top dollar. And we'll throw in an additional 250 Pierre Pride dollars. Sell us your car. And Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota will give you an additional 250 Pierre Pride dollars. Trade in your vehicle for a new or different one. And Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota will give you 250 Pierre Pride dollars. Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota at 518 East Sioux Avenue in Pierre. Call 605-224-7378 and visit Gateway Ford Toyota. At Pyrrhus, we play to win, which led to being named the most innovative food company of 2021. For over 30 years, we have worked to develop the highest quality peas for plant-based protein on the market. 
which is sourced from several South Dakota farmers. Our alliance with farmers allows us to build a safe and secure food supply in the United States. Join our Herald production team and make moves because at Purist, it's not just a job, it's a career. Apply online, P-U-R-I-S.com. Purist, born and bred in the USA. Wondering what to do with that pitted and rutted drive? B&B Equipment will get you covered. Wanting to put something down the ground? B&B Equipment will put a hole in your project. Need to even up that property? B&B Equipment can fill that need. B&B Equipment can deliver all your gravel and material needs. B&B Equipment is here for all your excavation needs. Contact B&B Equipment, 224-6727. A contractor here for you. That's B&B Equipment, 224-6727. Innovation, it's right here. Avera St. Mary's Hospital keeps care local for you and your family, offering comprehensive care that has earned four out of five stars by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services in hospital performance and safety. Avera St. Mary's world-class care is further supported by advanced technology, two-way video e-consults, 3D mammography, and a state-of-the-art birthing center, so you and your family don't have to go anywhere else because innovation lives right here in Pier. Learn more at avera.org slash news. Announcing the final week of the grand opening of the Sleep Solutions section at Slumberland Furniture and Pier. Slumberland has reinvented mattress shopping with all the items in one spot. From mattresses, frames, mattress toppers, sheets, padding, pillows, and more. Plus, you'll love the variety of the brands like Sealy, Stearns & Foster, Tempur-Pedic, and Slumberland's own Slumbercrest. The final week of the grand opening of the Sleep Solutions section at Slumberland Furniture on the Truck Bypass in Pier. As we welcome you back, we are getting set for first serve between the Pier Governors and the Huron Tigers as we will throw things down to uh, the PA for our introducing uh, our starting lineups as they just get done with the Huron Tigers. Tigers assistant coaches are Ty Ann Alder, Lizzie Katz, Brittany Bergquist, and the head coach for the Tigers, Joshua Lee. Now, ladies and gentlemen, time to get loud as we introduce you are here. As we are set now for first serve between the Pier Governors and the Huron Tigers. Again, Pink Nine had uh, some uh, some balls thrown out, some volleyballs, little small volleyballs being thrown out to the crowd as the starting lineups were announced. As the Huron Tigers, as it, they will go uh, with Carson Kaufman, Reese Roselle, Emily Dale, Heaven Ganey, Bryn Ghost, and Hampton Hines with just one senior in the starting lineup, two seniors in the starting lineup. Uh, being uh, both Emily Dale and Reese Roselle. And the libero for the evening for the Huron Tigers looked like it was, uh, I thought it was Ellen Schoenhar, but I don't believe that's actually right. Brent Huber is the libero for the Huron Tigers. So we are set for volleyball. The Governors will have the first serve. And it is going to be Remy Price that will serve first for this uh, here Governor squad. And the libero for the here Governors is Addison Cumbo. She's wearing that. Uh, Black jersey with the Governor Green numbers. Where the rest of the Governors are wearing their pink jerseys with white numbers. We are underway. From the Nets at Hampton Hines. That was blocked up by the Governors. Now Hines again will set to the near side and goes. That's dug out by Price. Kaiser on the free ball over for the Tigers. Hines is set now for goes on the other side. That's off the hands of the Governors and down for the first point. The Huron Tigers open up first. Bryn Ghost will get the first kill of the Knights and the first point for the Huron Tigers. 
On the serve is at least Christofferson to receive. It goes right back across. Hampton Hines will set, tapped over, and Christofferson is there. Sanchez is set up for Kaiser. That's blocked up, rolls off the fingertips, and the Governors are able to play. That was a, a tricky bounce for the Governors to try and play. Coming in from the back line from the libero was Huber. Now at the net, it's tipped by the Tigers. And now Kaiser from the near side off the net, tipped by Huron, and now set to the far side. That goes off the antenna. And it does go out off of he Heaven Ganey. And the Governors will get their first point of the night. One was their score here in set one as we uh, welcome you in to the broadcast as the Governors are taking on the Huron Tigers. Second time in 12 days that these two teams meet. Ganey across in the third hit. Christophers is there. Sanchez to set for Kaiser. Tapped over and is dug out by Hampton Heights. Over from Ghost on the third hit. Now up to the net, and it goes off the net. It was bumped by Christofferson and got it too far to the net. And the Huron Tigers will take a 2-1 lead here in set number one. These two teams, they only played three sets the last time, but they were three close sets. The Governors won all three. 25-20 was our first set score, then 25-19 and 25-23. Sanchez is set for Tewilliger. Her first chance for a kill that was dug out by Ganey. Across, tipped, and Christofferson. Now Sanchez over on the second hit. Hampton Hines is there. Now Huber to the uh, near side. That's hit too far from Ganey. And the Governors will get two points off of Ganey. Uh, miss hits. And we sit at 2-2 here in set one. Jenna Bush will check in for Elise Christofferson. And now Lily Sanchez is back to serve for the Governors. Huber to play it. Hines, middle of the floor, far side. That's over from Ganey, dug out by Sanchez. Now bumped over from Cumbo to free ball for Huron, but they bump it back across the net, so now the Governors have an upper opportunity. Kaiser off the set from Sanchez. That one was blocked up, and then miscommunication between Carson Kaufman and Hampton Hines, and end up being a kill for Avery Kaiser. And it's a 3-2 lead now for the Governors. First kill the night for any Governor, and it goes to Kaiser. Here in set one, good crowd on hand on pick night for the Governors. Taking on the Huron Tigers. Hines to set near side. Kaufman puts it into the net, and the Governors have scored three straight and now lead it 4-2. As Sanchez will go back to serve for a third time. Governors are going to enjoy being at home for the rest of the season, rest of the regular season, and for the Sodak 16 as well. It would take a, a, a big disaster by the Governors and a, and a lot of just dumb luck for the Governors not to be able to host the Sodak 16 game as Sanchez puts the serve into the net so it's now 4-3 Governors lead by one, Bryn Huber on the serve that's received by Price, now to Williger for the near side, puts it into the net and it's now 4-4, we haven't seen a whole lot of kills so far, just one on each side in the first eight points both these teams trying to feel each other out a little bit, it, it's tough playing a team Second time in 12 days. You're trying to maybe be a little bit more cute than you need to be. Kaiser taps it over. Ganey got two. Speed goes got to it. Then over from the far side. Price is there. Sanchez now for Bush. Her first kill attempts dug out by Huber. Hines to set. Goes coming from the back row. Dug out by Price. Tapped back over from the net. And the Huron Tigers will get the point. And they now lead it 5-4. They've scored now two in a row. Emily Dale gets her first kill. And a 5-4 lead for the Huron Tigers. That one goes out, service air from Huron, and we are tied at 5-5. So 10 points in, and we've gotten three kills. Two from Huron and only one so far from Pier. Avery Kaiser, who has that one kill, will get the serve. Nearly got an ace. Huber from the back corner. A free ball from Huron, and the Governors now. Sanchez is set for Tewilliger. That one was tipped, and now the referees will say it was not tipped. It's a four-hit violation on the Governors. And it's now 6-5, to five, and Huron will take the lead back. The ricochet that it had looked like at first maybe it went off the net, but the force that it had on it, either Twilliger is a little bit stronger than a lot of people think, or it could have got tipped a little bit. But here is Price now from the near side. That is hit out, but it is touched by the Huron Tigers. And so Remy Price will get the kill, and the Governors have tied it back up 6-6. Six, six. And then you look on the other side, and didn't look like it got touched by the Huron Tigers, but the Governors get the point, and we are tied 6-6 as Tewilliger now to serve for the Governors. 
to the back row. Huber will play it. Hampton Hines now to set from the far side. Blocked up by Bush and McKenna Schleckaway. And the Governors pick up the point, and it's now 7-6. A huge block there by Schleckaway and Bush. And the Govs are back up on top, 7-6 here in set one. And here is Terwilliger again to serve the sophomore for the Governors. Ghost plays it, Hampton Hines to set near side. Terwilliger got a piece of it, and then it went off the rafters and came back to the Governor bench. And the only person that was close, Emily Dale get the kill. The only person that was close was Terwilliger who dug it out and couldn't hit it again. So Dale picks up the kill, and it's 7-7. Kaiser, uh, Sanchez sent it for Price, and Remy Price has got her second kill across court from the near side to the far side, and Remy Price has given the Governors the lead right back. 8-7 is her score here in set one. Lise Christofferson will now serve here for Pierre. And Christofferson skips off the net, but Huber is there to play. High is to set on the near side. It was tipped by the Governors and somehow dug out by Christofferson. Pushed it to the back line. Now Hines to the near side, and that's a big kill for Emily Dale, who split the Governor defense and put it in the back row, and we are tied 8-8. And Dale's got her third kill now the first set. 8-8 is our score here in set one. These two teams weren't separated by a whole lot in either of the three sets that they played in Huron. Near side, Sanchez, that goes off the antenna. And it will be a point for the Huron Tigers off the Sanchez hit, and it's now 9-8. Huron's back up by one. Pier won the first one, 25-20. Back in Huron less than two weeks ago, then it was 25-19 and 25-23. Sanchez to receive it. Christofferson now over from Combo all the way to the back row, but it does go out, and it's now 10-8, and Huron's got one of their biggest leads since it was 2-0. They now lead at 10-8 here in set number one. Dale again will serve. That one is played from Schleckway right across the net. Sanchez, that one had it, was tipped. And then Kaiser, the diving play, and Cumbo was able to get across in the third hit, but it is a free ball for Huron. Tapped over, and then Cumbo was starting to move to her right, and the ball came over to her left, and it goes for a kill for Huron, and Bryn Ghost will pick up her second. And it's now a 11-8 lead for the Huron Tigers. Cumbo to receive the serve, Price near the... Uh, crowd, but Kaiser will get it over. Free ball again for the Tigers. Over and down. Bryn Ghost has got another one. Make it 12-8, and a timeout will be taken by Coach Tiffany Stosher as the Governors trail it by four. 12-8 here in set one. Back in 30 seconds, you're listening to Pure Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. Most of us already know that Gale's Gas of Peer is the place to call for propane. They offer an automatic fill plan so you never have to worry about running out of propane. They accept debit and credit payments or a budget payment plan to spread out the cost throughout the year so you never have surprises when you get your bill. For delivery, convenience, and great customer service, call Gales Gas at 224-5518. That's Gales Gas at 224-5518. It is 12-8 here in set number one. The Governors, they trail the Huron Tigers, the largest lead for Huron, the first time out taken by Coach Tiffany Stosher here in this first set. The Governors looking for their 14th win of the season would be five in a row again for this Pier team who is coming in feeling pretty good after a couple of big wins last week against Harrisburg in a five-set thriller, and then Yankton with a sweep on Thursday, which pretty much was a trap game for the Governors, playing a team that was under 500 after a huge five-set win. That was a big and emotional win for the Governors. That one will go out off the serve reception, and Huron now leads it 13-8. So the two road teams right now is Pierre, one on the road back two Thursdays ago, and now Huron here in this first set on the road. Looking to steal a first one here on Pier. That one's tipped off the Sanchez kill attempt. Hines on a high bump set across. It was tipped. Kaiser got a hand to it and was able to, to dig it out on the dive. And it was over a free ball, though, for the Tigers. That one, Christofferson got a piece of it, 
but it was unable to be played again by the Governors, and another kill for the Tigers. And Kaufman will get it, her first of the night. They get 14 to 8. And right now, the Governors can't stop the run that the Huron Tigers are on. Coming to receive the serve, Christofferson to set for Sanchez. That one goes off the net, goes right back down. I don't know if it was blocked or not, but Huron will get the point. It is now 15-8, and the Governors are in danger here in set number one. Still got time, but you're down by seven here in this first set. On the serve again from the Tigers, Christofferson to set. Slick away, and then a net violation will be called on the Huron Tigers on Kaufman. That's a huge point for the pure Governors to get. Boy, Kaufman didn't look like she was in the net. It looked like he was with when the whistle blew that it was going to be on McKenna Schleckway for getting in the net. But instead it goes against the Tigers, and the Governors will take it. 15-9 now, the Tigers lead. And that one, a net violation will be called on Sanchez. And it goes right back to the Huron Tigers, and it's 16-9. So you get back-to-back -back net violations, one for each side. And a seven-point lead now here for... Here on in set number one. Hard serve, that goes out from Hampton Hines and it's now 16-10. Governors have to string a little bit of a run together here. Down by six as we start to get late here in set number one. Addison Combo will serve the libero here for the Governors. Having Ganey to receive it. Now goes over, that's out. And that is gonna be a point for the Governors, make it 16-11. Brent Ghost tried to go from the near side to the far side and missed it by several feet. Took a big high hop in the, the stands and is now 16-11. Come on the serve, that goes in the net. And a service error by the Governors and it's 17-11. Here did score back-to-back -back points. But we'll have to continue to try and score after score here. Put a run together down by six here in set one. Brent goes on the serve, coming to receive it. Now Kaiser, that one's tipped at the net. And Hampton Hines played it back. Huber now over a free ball here for the for the Governors. Christofferson is set for Kaiser. That one somehow was dug out before it got to the ground off of Huber. Now Christofferson is set to the near side for Sanchez. Over, and that goes off of Ganey. And down for Sanchez to get a kill. Just the fourth kill of the first set for this Pierre Governor squad as they trail at 17-12. But unlike what Pierre is, Pierre is averaging uh, well more than just four kills in a first set. And to score eight points off something other than a kill for the Governors is a little bit uh, unlike Pierre. Now it's set for Kaiser. That one's tipped to the net and easy dig there for the Tigers. Tapped over. Combo comes sliding in. Price now back for Kaiser. Goes across court, but it is dug out by Kaufman. Near side, Ganey. That was nearly... It was close to being not across the net yet. Didn't look like it was going to go across the net. The Governors were able to tap it down. They pick up the point and make it 17-13. But the Huron fans were, were hoping that they are going to give a call for the Tigers to go in their way. Sanchez in the serve. That one almost was going out, but Kaufman played it. Now goes over. It's tipped Sanchez. Now here's Price for Kaiser. That's tipped and unable to be dug out by the Tigers. It is now 17-14. And Coach Josh Lean will take a timeout. 17-14, Governors trail by three here in set number one, trying to make a run at it. Back in 30 seconds, you listen to Pure Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. No one likes to have electrical problems, but when they happen, call Tons Electric at 223-2518. With over 28 years of experience, Tons Electric can handle any type of electrical problem, whether it's residential, commercial, or agricultural. Their knowledgeable staff knows and understands the importance of your home, business, or ag facility and are prepared to help. Call Tons Electric at 223-2518. That's 223-2518. Tons Electric, serving the Pier and Fort Pier areas. The line to power. Governors have made their comeback here, down by three in set number one as they're looking for a chance to potentially tie this up. Here in this first set as Pierre is down by three, 17-14, getting late in set number one. Josh Lean took his first time out. Lean got here just a little after six o'clock out in Rapid City, uh, dealing with some National Guard stuff and 
Had a little bit of a, of a late to start getting to Pierre, but was able to get here in time for the game. As it's over on the second hit, and a good play there from Hampton Hines. The governors weren't expecting that one. And Hampton Hines will pick up the point for a Huron. It is now 18-14. That's a huge point coming out of the timeout for the Huron Tigers. On the serve from Huber, Price to receive it. Sanchez now far side. Kaiser, that goes down. as a hard kill for Avery Kaiser. Make it 18-15. Brent Ghost had no chance to make a stop on that kill attempt from Kaiser. And then the muscle that Avery Kaiser has showed it right there, her third kill of the evening. 18-15, three-point lead now for the Huron Tigers. That one is tipped. Somehow Kaiser was able to get that opportunity. That one's tipped to the net, played over the corner. Kaiser, Sanchez, now Schleck away. It's going to be Reese to Williger as of going into the net. So it's now 19-15. A net violation is called on to Williger, and the Governors are now back down by four, 19-15 here in set one. As Olivia Rink is in to serve, now here for the Huron Tigers. Rink, received by Cumbo, set by Sanchez at the net, tapped by Price, goes back to Cumbo. Now here is to Williger. That one's blocked up, but it goes down the net, and it's a kill for Reese to Williger. Make it 19 16. If you get a chance here, if the Governor is able to come back in this first set, especially where the, the lead was for. The Huron Tigers, it's going to be a, a tough tough go for the Tigers trying to mentally come back for something like that. That one's tipped, and that one goes down for a kill, and it's now 20-16. Uh, Emily, Emily Dale picks up her fourth kill. But this Huron team unable to close out a set at home against Pierre, and now trying to close out a set. That one goes out, a service error again from the Huron Tigers. They really struggled in, that, uh, in the game at Huron, they had 12 service errors. By the time that the Governors had scored 40 points, and nearly a third of the points that the Governors had had in that first meeting was off the service errors from the Huron Tigers. This one's set to the net. That was not going to get over by Huron, so it's now 20 to 18, and Pierce down by just two. And a timeout will be taken by Coach Josh Lee. Not a bad timeout. Still up by two, but trying to keep Pierre from getting that momentum to take the lead. Governor's trail by two, 20 to 18 here in set one, back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Pierre Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. The Clubhouse Hotel and Suites has Midwestern charm and unprecedented attention to detail that provides the perfect getaway. The Clubhouse Hotel and Suites provides a complimentary deluxe continental breakfast featuring hot waffles, biscuits, and gravy. They also have an indoor children's water playland, whirlpool and fitness center, and a beautiful backyard patio with seasonal fire pits. Everyone deserves a night away. Call 605-494-2582 to make your reservation today. The Clubhouse Hotel and Suites. Experience luxury in the heart of South Dakota. It is a two-point lead here for the Pier Governors. They speak two-point deficit for the Pier Governors in set number one. Joe McClear back here at Riggs High School. Spencer Kelly back at the station. The Governors down by two, 20 to 18. Here in set number one. Elise Christofferson on the serve. Goes into the nets. So the timeout, again, well used by Coach Josh Lean as they've scored coming out of the timeout both times to stop the run that the Governors were starting to get. It is now 21-18. Coach Stosher still with the timeout left in her back pocket as we get late here in set one. On the serve, Cumbo to receive it. Kaiser with the bump set, and then over from Sanchez, a free ball for Huron. Hampton Hines over for Bryn Ghost. That one is blocked up, but it does go down on the side of Pierre, and it's now 22-18, and Ghost has another. Has another kill, her third now of the evening, 22-18. Pierre down by four here in set one. Dale again to serve. That one goes off the net, and it does not go across. It looked like he was about to flip across the net, but it did not, and it goes another service error for the Huron Tigers, and it's 22-19. Governor's down by three. Remy Price, there's one server that you want. This might be the one that you pick. Brent Ghost, that one's over, but an easy dig there from Cumbo. Now here is Kaiser. That one's blocked up. Comes back, and the Governors are able to play it. Now Kaiser. 
just barely over the net. Dale is right there. Now Hines to set for goes. Taps it over, and the Governors weren't there. They weren't in. Both Kaiser and Cumbo were a little slow to get going, thinking that the other one was going to have it. And now it's 23-19, and the Governors have to string now a, a good run together here. They're two points away from falling in the first set to the Huron Tigers. That goes out again, and that's the third straight time that Huron has served and have served a service air. 23-20 now, the Governors. They lead, uh, they trail by three here in set one. This is a big upcoming serve to see if they can get a rally going with Cumbo serving over. That one's tipped back across, that one by Kaiser. No look across the net. And now a chance, Kaiser, it's going to be Cumbo, couldn't dig it out, and it's now 24-20, and the Governors are dealing with set point against as Bryn Ghost will go back to serve. A chance to finish out this first set. It was Heaven Ganey that gets the kill. Goes to serve, Cumbo to receive it. Now Sanchez, Kaiser, that one is dug out by Ghost. Now Dale over, and Kaiser is right there. Christofferson to set for Sanchez, tipped him down, and... Lily Sanchez picks up a kill to make it 24-21. And Lily Sanchez, her second kill of the night. 24-21, Pierce got to score three straight to keep this first set alive. Lily Sanchez on the serve. Just over the net, goes to play it. Hampton Hines now over from Ganey, but it was tipped at the net, and a net violation is called on Dale, and the Governors have made it 24-22. And now they're two points away from trying to keep extend this first set. Sanchez again will serve. They need these next two points. Need this one, especially Huber. Nearly missed that serve. Highest to set. Goes coming for the back row. It's tipped. And then Twilliger plays it again. Now here is it Kaiser. That is tipped. Huber with the big dig. And then it's over from Highs. A free ball for the Governors. Sanchez to set for Kaiser. Tipped. And it's down for a kill. And it's 24-23. Kaiser has made it with her fourth kill to make it a one-point game, and Peer has to score this one again. You got to win by two. Down 24-23, has to get this one to extend the first set. Lily Sanchez on the serve. That one is over. Huber to play it high is now to set. Dale tipped. Price is right there. Now here is Sanchez. Kaiser to try and keep this one alive. Nice diving play from Hampton Hines. Huber over, free ball for the Governors. Price to set Sanchez. Kaiser taps it over, but goes out. And Huron will win the first set, 25-23. Had a good look to Kaiser to try and tie this up, 24-24, but unable to. 25-23 is our final score in set number one. Back in two minutes with our second set. You're listening to Pure Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. Have you ever wondered what the benefits are of becoming a Wahi Federal Credit Union member? At Wahi Federal Credit Union, we reinvest profits in you. We do this in the form of lower interest rates, higher dividends, and low to no fees. So come check us out or come in at 221 East Pleasant Drive in Pier. Because at Wahi Federal Credit Union, we treat our members like they own the place because, well, they do. Hawaii Federal Credit Union. First United Methodist Church would like to take this time to wish the Pier Governors great success in this sports season. Athletic competition builds skills, leadership, teamwork, and provides lifelong lessons in character development. I'm Pastor Greg, and I invite you to join us for meaningful worship, personal growth, and compassionate fellowship. For a list of worship times and upcoming events, visit our website, peerfirstumc.org, or our Facebook page, Pier First United Methodist Church. When you want the best prices and best selection, go to Wagner Auto and Pier. The certified sales staff at Wagner Auto will provide you service after the sale and how to get easy financing. Check out their website, wagnerauto.com, or stop in. They have the best prices and won't be undersold. Wagner Auto has the region's largest selection with over 280 new and quality pre-owned vehicles. GM certified pre-owned vehicles give you peace of mind with their 12-month or 12,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty and 5-year or 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. Log on to wagnerauto.com or stop by Wagner Auto and Pier, South Dakota's oldest auto dealer since 1907. 
Are you building a new home or remodeling the old? Adding a fireplace can make a house a home. Olson Plumbing and Pier carries a full line of heat-a-later fireplaces. Whether your taste is traditional or contemporary, Olson Plumbing has a great selection of heat-a-later fireplaces that will fit any style. Whether you're building new or updating, call Olson Plumbing. Heat-a-later fireplaces, the first name in fireplaces. Olson Plumbing and Pier is your source for the industry's largest selection of indoor-outdoor fireplaces, either gas or wood, and outdoor fire pits. Stop by their showroom at 2803 East Wells or give them a call, 224 6436 here on Tigers, take the first set over the Pier Governors, 25-23, back here at Riggs High School. Other scores across the state, it is uh, Mitchell. They took the first set over Aberdeen Central, 25-19. Sioux Falls Roosevelt beat Brookings, 25-18 in set number one. And uh, Sioux Falls Christian trying to knock off Harrisburg in that first set. Those are our score updates as of right now for tonight's double-A volleyball action across the state. As we are set for the second set, the Pier Governors will... Be looking to even things up. Here on Tigers, we'll get the first serve. As we are set to get underway here in the second set. Bryn Ghost will start things off. Ghost on the serve. Come on to receive it. Willie Sanchez, now Remy Price. That goes off the arms and down for a kill for Remy Price. Her third kill of the night. And Pierre opens up this set unlike they did in set number one with that first point as they lead it here 1-0. And Remy Price now will serve for Pierre. She starts every set for the Governors, whether they serve first or second. Emily Dale, that's tipped, and it's going to be played here by Christofferson back for Kaiser to the back row, and it goes is there. Now here near side, tapped over and dug out by Cumbo. Sanchez, now Schleck away. That one's off of a couple arms, and somehow they get it out, and it does go out of play. Huron somehow was able to play it across the net. It looked like it would be a forehead violation because it bounced off of everybody, and it nearly stayed in, but it did go out, and the Governors pick up a 2-0 lead now. Price on the serve again. Ghosts to receive it. Far side, tapped over, but blocked up by the Governors. Now back here to the near side. Over from the Tigers again. Christofferson, Sanchez now for Schleckway. Tipped and down, and the Governors now lead it 3-0. Schleckway will get the kill. Her first of the night. Peyton Shukart is in for the Huron Tigers. First time we've seen her here this evening as Remy Price will serve for the Governors. Huber to receive it. Hines on the bump set on the far side. That was blocked up by the Governors, and Sanchez likely pick up another point for the Governors. They lead it 4-0 here to open up set number two. After driving the first one, 25-23, Pierre is... Open up with a 4-0 advantage here in the second set. So now here is Remy Price again on the serve. Huber to receive it. Hines now to the back row coming in as goes. That goes out. And it's 5-0 for Peer. And Coach Lean might be closing in on taking his first time out. Addison Moore will check in. The 5-4 freshman. The defensive specialist is in. She's in the back row for Bryn Ghost. Price will give the first point to Huron as that one was hit just a bit too long and it's now 5-1. Brent Huber now will serve for the Huron Tigers. Trailing 5-1 here in this second set. Hard serve across the net. Received by Kaiser, or excuse me, received by Christofferson and then a net violation is called on Huron on the return hit. Christofferson received it, went back across the net and then the Huron Tigers get called for a net violation where they would have scored, but it turns into now a 6-1 lead for the Pier Governors. And Addison Gumbo will serve for Pier. The libero across and received by Huron. Hampton High is the set, Heaven Ganey. That's dug out by Christofferson. Now here is Kaiser, the chance across the court. That is over the net by Huron, but played from Gumbo. Now Kaiser again. That goes off of a couple of Huron players and is down for a kill for Avery Kaiser. Her fifth of the night. And it's 7-1. Governors lead it by six here in set two. And the strength of Avery Kaiser shows it again. Now her fifth kill of the night. Here is Addy Cumbo again on the serve for the Governors. Receive Hines now. Far side. Across for Cumbo, an easy dig. Sanchez to set for Kaiser. That is going to be dug out, though, by Huber. Hines all the way to the back row. Price is there. Sanchez is set for Terwilliger, and that's dug out, though, by Huber. A free ball coming for the Governors. Christofferson is there. Sanchez 
over on the left-handed hit, and they call a lift. And a point for the uh, Governors. Reese Roselle gets called for the lift, and it's 8-1 for Pierre. A seven-point lead for the Pierre Governors here in set number two. Combo again on the serve. Here's Hines to set, tapped over, and no one there for the Governors. Combo couldn't get there in time as she tried to slide on one knee. And it's now 8-2. And Reese Roselle will pick up her first kill of the night. And it's now 8-2 in favor of the Governors. Price to receive the serve. Sanchez now for Terwilliger. That goes off the net. Was not going to be a four-hit violation on the Governors, so it's now 8-3. As Olivia Rink is there to serve for here on again. Tries to receive it. Goes off the net and it is a point, a ace for Olivia Rink. And it's now 8-4, three straight points here for Huron. As they trail it by four, 8-4 four in set number two. Rink on the serve. Skips off the net. Receive, Sanchez got it across. Good net battle there. That one was not blocked up though completely by the Governors. And another kill here for the Huron Tigers. Emily Dale has got another one, 8-5 now. The Governors lead by three. Price to receive it. Coming in, Sanchez came in, free ball coming from Price over to the Huron Tigers. Hampton High sets it, dug out by Price, over towards the crowd. Christofferson was able to play it, and then Sanchez across. Now Hines again to set. That one is dug out off the Emily Dale kill again. Then Sanchez puts it down and goes in the student section. And Sanchez with a big kill to make it 9-5. Her third kill of the night. And a big kill for Lily Sanchez to break the four-point swing that the Huron Tigers had. Lily Sanchez will serve. Bryn Huber. Hines to the far side. That is off the net, and Twilliger has stayed on the net long enough for Twilliger to get an easy hit. And then Kaiser, that it goes up from Kaiser. The, the dig went up to the bottom of the backboard, came straight down, and no chance for the Huron Tigers. And Avery Kaiser will pick up her sixth kill tonight, and the Governors are doubling up here on once again, now leading 10-5 in this second set. Lily Sanchez on the serve. Huber to play it. Hines to set. Dale comes across, that goes out from Dale, and it's now 11-5. And the Governors lead it by six here in set two. Both teams with two timeouts still here in this second set. And we'll make it one timeout upcoming after Coach Josh Lean takes his first timeout here in set two. 11-5 is our score here in the second set. Governors lead it by six. Back in 30 seconds, you're listening to Pierre Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. When you're in the need for high-quality replacement auto parts, look no further than Xander Auto Parts, a machine shop in Pier. Xander's has been servicing the Pier area for over 40 years. Their professional parts techs can get you the part you need and get you back on the road. Stop by Xander Auto Parts, a machine shop at 500 West Sioux in Pier, or call 224-9221. Xander's, your source for domestic and foreign auto parts and accessories. Go Govs! Six-point lead here in set number two for the Pier Governors. Coach Josh Lean took his first timeout of the second set. And the Governors are looking to kind of control this, this second set. The Huron Tigers are unable to pick up a, a set at home against Pier. The three-set sweep for the Governors 12 days ago. We, we talked with Coach Tiffany Stosher before the game. It, it almost feels like more of the pressure is on the Pier Governors in this game than it is for the Huron Tigers. As that one's over on the third hit, Sanchez comes flying in to make the play. And now here is Kaiser trying to go across from the near side to the far side. Dug out by the Tigers. And then he goes skipping off the net off of Ghost. And then Kaiser got it out, just barely out. That one on the near side landed just out. And it's now 11-6. And the Governors lead it by five here in set two. Price to receive it, Sanchez. Now here is Kaiser. That is a hard kill attempt, but somehow the Tigers are able to play it at pinball all the way across for those two hits. Now Hines over. Sanchez is right there. 
Price now to try and send it for Kaiser from the near side. That is off the Tigers and in for, they call a net violation. So Kaiser technically doesn't get the kill, but it was a point for the Governors. It didn't look like a net violation, but it is a net violation on the Tigers. And you take away the, the kill from Avery Kaiser as she will go back and serve. As Ghost, a kill attempt, combo to, re, to dig it out. Now Jenna Bush, that one's blocked up. Now Price over. That's a kill for Remy Price. Didn't wait to send it back across. Remy Price has her fourth of the night. And Pierre leads it by 7 13 6. And now Kaiser again, middle of the floor, going right to left on your radio dial. Ghost. That one is hit out, and to make it 14-6, Governors lead it by eight. Coach Lean took his first time out just a couple of points ago, so now he's gonna try and probably hold on that last time out as long as he can, but can't let this second set get out of hand too quickly. Here is Ghost over. That is dug out by Combo. Now Price, boy, miscommunication between the two, between Price and Sanchez. That was going out, and the Governors and the Tigers play it. So they got a chance, but they're still going to get a kill as the Huron Tigers. So miscommunication between Price and Sanchez and who was going to play it. Kaiser hit it actually out, but then Emily Dale, after it was played, will, will still get the kill to make it now 14-7. And Dale's got her sixth of the evening. On well, the serve. Gumbo can't make that diving play. And it's now 14-8. A six-point lead again here for the Governors. Dale's got her second ace of the night. A couple of aces here for the Huron Tigers. Price to receive it. Sanchez back to Price off the net, but the Tigers are able to play it. Now goes. That's dug out by Cumbo, but it's played back across, and it does go out. So Bryn Ghost will get her fourth kill and make it 14-9. Three straight points here for the Huron Tigers as they trail by five once again. Dale another serve. Kaiser to receive it. Sanchez. Now here is Twilliger. That one's blocked off the net. Goes back across. Then Twilliger blocked up a chance and she got it across the net. Now goes. Blocked up another time. Goes off the antenna. And the Governors give it the point. So Twilliger got rejected the first time. Then she rejected back to back chances for the Huron Tigers. And Pierre now leads it 15 9. A six point lead as Twilliger now will serve. Across, near side, kill attempt, that's blocked up. Price played again, now Sanchez back to Price on the near side. Blocked up, came back across, and then Kaiser dug it out, but a net violation is called on Hampton Hines. And the Governors now lead it 16-9. A seven-point lead here for the Pier Governors in set number two. As here is Tewilliger again on the serve. The sophomore, that one is off the right side of the hand and goes out of play on the far side. So Twilliger will come out, 16-10 is our score. A six point lead for the Pier Governors in set number two. Hines on the serve, Kaiser to receive it. Sanchez to set, Price, that is dug out by Huber. And then another net violation is called, that one on Kaufman. And it's 17-10. Governors lead it by seven again here in set number two. A couple of net violations in a row here by the Huron Tigers. Elise Christofferson is in to serve. To the back row. Highs now to set, middle of the floor. That one stays in off the kill attempt from Kaufman. And it's now 17-11. Carson Kaufman gets out her second kill of the evening. 17-11, Governors lead by six here in set two. And another ace, this one from Bryn Ghost. And make it 17-12. So the Tigers who really didn't have a whole lot of aces in the first go around, their serves are mostly better here in this second contest. Sanchez, that's blocked up and you had five Governors all around, four Governors if you take Sanchez out of the picture. 
and somehow it, the, well, I guess it was blocked a little bit too, it was blocked really hard right back down, but the, the four governors are unable to make the play, and there's, what I'm talking about where it's slightly better, but there's still those errors, of, there's still those errors from the Huron Tigers. They've got a couple more aces here this evening, but still those service errors have bitten the Huron Tigers this evening. 18-13 is their score. Remy Price on the serve. Hampton Highs near side. That one's hit out from Carson Kaufman. And it's now 19-13. We'll have a sub as Ellen Schoenhard, the eighth grader, will check in. The 5'10 eighth grader will be in. Remy Price on the serve. Brent Huber, Hines to set. Heaven Ganey. That a net violation called on Sanchez, although Cumbo dug it out, but a net violation against the Governors. And here on back within five again, 19-14 is her score here in set two. Huber on the serve. It is received by Kaiser. Sanchez dumped it across in the second hit, rolls off the net, played back, and then unable to get back across the net are the Huron Tigers as 20-14. Coach Lean still with one timeout left here in this second set. Addie Cumbo to serve for the Governors at the net. It's tipped over. Actually, it goes in the net by Huber and is now 21-14. A seven-point lead for the Pier Governors. Huber going over to talk to the referee, saying it was was also tipped by the Pier Governors. Not gonna win the argument, or not gonna get any, any change on the call. Addie Cumbo now will serve again. As Hampton Hines, far side, that one's blocked up by the Governors, but it still lands down, and is now 21-15. As the Huron Tigers score again. Roselle picks up just her second kill of the night. That one's over on the serve from Olivia Rink. Now here's Kaiser, a net violation called against Sanchez. And it's now 21-16. These two teams have struggled to stay off the net. They do have good net play, but right now the airs have been uh, big ones for both these teams. That one goes over on the service reception from the Governors. Now the far side over. Christofferson runs into Price, but gets it a hit, and then Kaiser had it blocked up. Now Terwilliger had it blocked up again, and back-to-back blocks this one from Kaufman, excuse me, from Dale. And it's 21-17. Here on his pull within four. Although to, uh, Coach Stosher still with two timeouts. That one goes out. Another service error from the Huron Tigers. And it's 22-17. Jenna Bush checking back in for Elise Christofferson. And now here is Sanchez on the serve. Five-point lead for the Governors. Hubert to receive it. That one got it blocked up, but it went back in the net off of the Emily, Emily Dale kill attempt. And Dale will pick up the point and make it 22-18. And Dale's got seven now. Price on the reception of the serve. 22-18 does her score to Williger. That's blocked up, comes right back though to Williger. Sanchez, now here's for Kaiser on the far side. That's dug out by Huber. Played back from Hines and then unable to get it across. Miscommunication from Huber. And Dale make it 23-18. The Governors lead it by five again. Trying to keep that handful distance away in the second set of the Governors. They're two points away from trying to close out the second set. Kaiser on the serve. That one misplayed by Reese Roselle. And an ace for Avery Kaiser. The first one of the night for the Pier Governors. And they have set point 24-18. Coach Lean not taking that second time out. Kaiser on the serve. Now here is uh, Bryn Ghost across, Combo. Sanchez now for Price. Off the net, Jenna Bush. A four-hit violation was not touched by the Huron Tigers. Huron's got to score six in a row. They scored their first one, and now it's 24-19. From the near side, 
A serve from Dale. And received by Kaiser. Now to Williger trying to put an end to set two. And a net violation will put an end to set number two. And the Governors will win it 25 to 19 here in set two. So we are tied 1-1 between Pierre and Huron after two sets. Back in two minutes with set number three. You're listening to Pierre Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. This is Art from East Pier Landscape and Garden Center. Did you know we are open seven days a week? We're your shopping destination rather than simply a producer of nursery plants. We know what plants work in the area and offer high quality landscape design services, plant materials, handmade outdoor crafts, and high quality garden art. Let us make your yard and garden one to remember. East Pier Landscape and Garden Center, east on Highway 34, north of Farm Island, in Pier. Dakota Sprinkler and Landscaping is who you should call as we enter the fall season. They can make sure your lawn makes it through the tough South Dakota winters. They can help with the fall cleanup, winterize that sprinkler system so that it can be ready to go in the spring. And once the snow starts to fly, they can help with that too. Dakota Sprinkler and Landscaping, helping customers year round. Call Dakota Sprinkler and Landscaping, 280-4440. Insurance. We all need it to protect our homes, health, businesses, and belongings. But having adequate coverage is just the beginning. You also need the support of professionals who stand by your side to protect what's important to you. Fisher Rounds & Associates combines the coverage you want with the commitment you need. Fisher Rounds & Associates. At your service, at your side. With offices in Pier, Mitchell, Watertown, Sioux Falls, and Rapid City. Bankwest Insurance has the expertise and resources to deliver personalized service and customized solutions. As an independent agency, we shop dozens of companies to get you the best coverage at the best price. As your trusted choice for insurance coverage, we promise to go the extra mile so you can rest assured your loved ones and your assets are protected. Contact your local agent to put Bankwest Insurance to work for you. Not a deposit, not FDIC insured, not insured by any federal agency, not guaranteed by any bank, may go down in value, equal opportunity provider. As we welcome you back here, we are getting set for the third set as we are tied 1-1 between the Pier Governors and the Huron Tigers. John Winkler here with Spencer Kelly back at the station. We are tied 1-1, 25-23 for Huron in set number one, 25-19 for the Pier Governors in set number two. As we check some scores across the state, Sioux Falls Christian won the first set over Harrisburg, 25-18 and lead 18-13 in the second set. No scoring in Mitchell and Aberdeen Central in that second set. Sioux Falls Roosevelt beating Brookings right now 2-0. And the Governors and Huron Tigers are tied at 1-1. Stanley County, they fall, fell to New Underwood 2-0, uh, leading down 2-0 right now. Kadoka area beating Stanley County. They beat Stanley County 3-1 in those games. And for uh, Class B, uh, Sully Buse taking on Harriet Selby area as... No score update for that one, but the Governors uh, right now are tied. 1-1 going into set number three, and Remy Price will get things started for the Pier Governors. Coming out of this, uh, the, the break and into the third set. Governors will be at home on Friday against Douglas Patriots, one of the few times that the Pier will be able to play on a Friday night here at home. And the, the Govs will be the second time they do it, but they'll be looking to take advantage of it with the home. Friday night crowd with football tomorrow, or excuse me, on Thursday. Six o'clock kickoff on Thursday, and then seven o'clock first serve on Friday. Both of those games can be heard here on KCCR and watch it on YouTube at KCCR Sports. That one goes off of Bringos, from Bringos, off the Governors, and here on scores the first point here in set number three. Her fifth kill of the night, and the first team to score in each of the first two sets went on to win those sets. We'll see if that holds true here in set three. Kaiser tips it across and he does go over and it's now 1-1. I don't know how Kaiser got that over. So the, the Huron fans looking for a lift. Coach Josh Lean looking for a lift as well. But it is a 1-1 score here in the third set and Kaiser picks up the kill, her now seventh of the night. It's going to be over from Ghost, and it was blocked up momentarily by the Governors, but Kaiser then Cumbo came diving in to the scores table, and it's now 2-1. And Bryn Ghost will get another kill, making her sixth now of the evening. 
and goes his back to serve. 2-1 here on leaves it. Lily Sanchez, Avery Kaiser over Brent Huber. Now here is Hampton Hines. That one's blocked up by the Governors. A big swing from Kaufman, and it was blocked up by Reese Tewilger, and it's 2-2. Boy, that was a hard-looking swing from Kaufman and Twilliger just put it straight back down where it came from. It's tied up 2-2 here in set three. Sanchez, that goes in the net. Service air from Lily Sanchez. And Huron is back on top 3-2 here in this third set. Bryn Huber is back to serve. The libero for the, Pier Go- or for the Huron Tigers. That one goes in the net. We trade service airs going into the net. And it is 3-3 here in set three. Governor football team taking on the Brookings Bobcats. EST title is on the line tomorrow night. So it's going to be Thursday night. Trying to get ahead of myself. Coach's corner is tomorrow night. Live from the Long Branch. Hampton Hines to set. That one is over. Cumbo digs it out. But it goes to the Governor bench. And both Price and Kaiser can't track it down. And it's now 4-3 as Emily Dale will pick up her eighth kill. Here on's back up by one. Coach's corner, 5.30 to 6.30, live for the Long Branch tomorrow evening. Kaiser, now here is Sanchez for Price. Goes over Huber. Now Hampton Hines, Bryn Gose, and Cumbo digs it out. Price now over from Kaiser. That one's tipped at the net. Now here for Dale on the near side, but dug out by Kaiser. Sanchez back for Price. Blocked up, but it was played from Combo. Governors are back defensively now as they got back across. Comes over, and Kaiser with an easy dig. Near side for Price, a kill attempt. Blocked up, but Combo's right behind her. Now Jenna Bush over. Goes with an easy dig. Hines trying to get it to the corner, but Sanchez is there. Now here's Price again. It was not tipped, and it goes long from Remy Price. And it is now four to, uh, five to three in favor of the Huron Tigers. On the serve, Olivia Rink. Combo couldn't get all the way to it. Kaiser came sliding in, but it's going to be an ace for the Huron Tigers. And Olivia Rink, her second. And it's now 6-3 here in this third set. Huron up by three. Here is Rink on another serve. Kaiser steps in front of Combo to take it. Now Sanchez for to Williger, that was off the net, touched by Huron, and then down for a kill for Reese to Williger. Just her second so far of the evening, but it's six to four. Here's down by just two here in this third set. And it is to Williger that will serve here for Pierre. Goes to play it. Hampton Hines to set, tapped over. Somewhat of a free ball for the governor. Sanchez now for Price, but it is blocked up by Emily Dale and Hampton Hines. And it's now 7-4. Here on back up by three. After we're done here this evening, we got ALCS game four between Boston and Houston. Schleckway got it over to Sanchez. That one got blocked up, and then it's hit too long from the governors. And it's now 8-4, and Coach Tiffany Stosher We'll take a timeout. I think it's taking a timeout. And then we'll take the timeout. Eight to four is our score here in set number three. Governor's down by four. Back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Pure Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. All Pro Towing and Repair offers 24-7 light, medium, and heavy towing, jump starts, lockouts, roadside assistance, and recovery. The All Pro Towing and Repair team of professionals offers prompt, courteous, and top-notch services to Central South Dakota. If you find yourself in need of a tow, jump, or lockout, contact All Pro Towing and Repair, 605-669-2075. That's 605-669-2075. 8-4 is their score. Governors down by four here in set number three. Timeout taken by Coach Tiffany Stosher, her first of the third set. And the Govs right now trying to, to break the run that the Huron Tigers are on as they lead it by four here in this third set. 
From the near side, a serve across from left to right, and then misplayed from Kaiser, another ace. And it's now 9-4. That was Reese Roselle that gets the ace, 9-4. Roselle on another serve. Kaiser is there to play it over for Sanchez. Back to the back row for Kaiser, coming across. Dug out by Roselle. Now here is uh, Ghost, goes off of two governors and played from Schleckway, got it across. And it will be a chance now, and that one goes over, that one goes long, and the governors will get the points. And it's now 9-5. Coach Lean was looking for a four-hit violation. And the referees will call time here because it skipped off of one governor, and then it was played by Kaiser, and then it was then across by Schleckway, which would be the third hit. And they're gonna talk about, is it gonna be a four hit violation or, or a just a, or a point for the governors? Because it was, a, I mean, you could see that it was touched by a governor going across, I don't, I don't remember now who it was, but then Kaiser played it. And the governors are still going to get the point. Coach Lead, he, he puts his hand on his head. He's, he can't believe it. I don't, I don't know what the, the ruling is, if they saw that one hit or not. But you could clearly see that one governor touched it before it got to Kaiser. So he's got a case to make it a four-hit four violation. But the referees got together. They talked about it. It was not the case to get a four-hit violation on Pierre. Pierre gets the point, it is 9-5, and the Governors are now serving. This will be Hampton Hines to set Bryn Ghost. That's blocked up in the Governors with Sanchez and Schleckway. We'll get the point, make it 9-6. And Coach Lean will, I think, smartly take a timeout here. A three-point lead for here on Tigers. Back-to-back -back points for the Governors, but Lean will take the timeout to kind of rally his troops right now after a call did not go their way. Back in 30 seconds, you're listening to Pierre Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. Pictures are memories we want to last forever. For those special times, call Bridget M. Photography, a unique boutique photography studio offering family portraits, children, seniors, and even your pets. They're available for weddings, commercial events, and sports photography. Stop in and visit their studio in Pier or look over their website at BridgetMPhoto.com. Pictures and memories that will last forever. From Bridget M. Photography in Pier. As we welcome you back here, it is a 9-6 lead for the Pier Governors, excuse me, for the Huron Tigers over the Pier Governors in this third set. You're listening to KCCR Pier, a Riverfront Broadcasting Station. Spencer Kelly back at the station. John Winkler here at Riggs High School. Elise Christofferson to serve for Pier coming out of the timeout. Hampton Hines. Near side, Emily Dale had it blocked up, but no chance for the Governors to get it back across, and Emily Dale's got her ninth kill of the night. Coach Lee took the timeout, and I think that was a, it was a very good timeout for the Huron Tigers. Obviously, it does not go in the way for the Pier Governors, but that call it looked like it maybe frustrated the Huron Tigers, especially after that uh, next play, as Christofferson now will set for Sanchez over, and it's dug out by the Tigers. Price now. Gets it back from Sanchez, blocked, and then skips and rolls off the net on the governor's side. Then back across on two hits from Hampton Hines. Goes over on the first hit from the governor's. Hines now to set. Ghost goes across. And then Price now. Here is Christofferson to set for Sanchez. That's down for Lily Sanchez to make it 10-7. Her four, fourth kill tonight for Sanchez. But that play right after that call didn't go the Huron Tigers' way. You sense the frustration, and Coach Lean, who was visibly, visibly upset, wanted to make sure that the troops were, were ready to go and, and kind of rally back and, and get them refocused. As that's tipped to the net, Cumbo came across to dive. Price might have had a chance for it, but Cumbo came diving over. And Kaufman picks up the kill. And it's now 11-7. Here on leading by four here in set three. Across from the Tigers on the serve, Kaiser to play it. Back to Kaiser near side. And there's a hard kill for Avery Kaiser, making 11-8. And no chance for Hampton Hines. She dropped down to both knees to try and dig it out. And that thing had too much heat on it. And no chance for a dig from Hines. And it's now 11-8. Combo on the serve. 
Here it's Hines now to set. Ganey over. Gumbo got two hands on it. Price gets over and a free ball coming for the Governors, but they were still able to get to play it. On the sideline they had to play it to the Tigers. And now it goes over and then to Williger puts it into the net. Oh boy, that was a huge opportunity for Pierre. Ganey didn't get all of it, just barely got it over. But then to Williger didn't get it back across, put it into the net, and the Governors couldn't play it, so it's now 12-8. Coming to receive it, that's an ace. As I got to the front of the net on the near side, but no Governor was there, and it's now 13-8. And Bryn Ghost well, gets, her, gets her second ace, and it's now 13-8, a five-point lead for the Tigers. Ghost tries to receive it. Now here is Kaiser, that is Huber, that could not dig it out. She did dig it out, but it went across the net and went out. And the Governors now lead it to trail it 13-9 with Avery Kaiser picking up her ninth kill of the night. One away from that to double-digit mark. Lily Sanchez on the serve. He were to receive. Hines, Ganey tipped at the net, and the Governors couldn't get over to it. Kaiser couldn't make her way across. And having Ganey picks up another kill. Just her second. But it is now a 14-9 lead, a five-point advantage for the Huron Tigers again. As Brent Hubert will serve. Tewilliger, Sanchez now here for Tewilliger. That is tipped at the net. Hines set Dale over. Price digs it out. Sanchez now for Kaiser. Tipped to the net again. Now here is Hubert. Ganey taps it over. Tewilliger got a piece of it. Bush got it. And then Kaiser on the third hit over. Now Dale taps it over. Sanchez now Price to set it for Kaiser. Over the back line. It goes out. And it's now 15-9, a six-point lead for the Huron Tigers. 15-9 is their score here in set number three. Here across. Here is Sanchez Kaiser. And that will be now to the near side. Across, that goes out, and it's now 15-10. And the Governors are now down by five. Avery Kaiser to serve, going from right to left. So Kaiser on the serve. It is played here. Hines across. That's tipped and down. Emily Dale gets the kill. Make it 16-10. And Emily Dale has now gotten an even 10 kills in the night. Olivia Rink will serve. To the back row, Kaiser, Sanchez taps it over from Bush. And then Cumbo played it back again to Williger, tipped to the net. It is Hines, now Huber. Tapped over, but it's blocked up, and the Governors put it down. And it's now 16-11. And Pierre is back down by five. 16-11 is our score. Reese to Williger will serve. From the near side to Williger, Bryn Ghost, Hampton Hines, near side across. Now here is it to Williger, Sanchez, Price over, and Huber is there. Hines to the side and it's down for Hampton Hines. Got the jump set across the net. And Hampton Hines played in a perfect spot where there was no governor. And Hampton Hines has picked up her first kill tonight. Kaiser is able, nearly doing the splits to receive it. Price comes across, but it's dug out by Ghost, and then it comes over. Sanchez, there's going to be Price, somehow dug it out. Combo now for Kaiser across. And then it goes off from the Governors, and Bryn Ghost will get the kill. Her seventh of the night is now 18-11. Coach Stosher with one timeout takes it right now. Governors down by seven as we start to get late here in set three. 18-11 is our score. Pier trailing by seven. Back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Pier Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. Building a home. It's the biggest investment most of us make in a lifetime. Not to mention it's a decision that, well, you pretty much live with day and night. The quality of the workmanship stares back at you like a reflection. 
It also affects the value of your investment. Choosing the right contractor is critical. Kruger Contracting is that contractor. Call 222-2523. Quality workmanship and materials completed on time. Kruger Contracting. In a word, quality. Call 222-2523. 18 to 11 is their score. Coach Tocher took her second time out. The governor is down by seven here in this third set as we welcome you back here to Rakes High School. Much different feeling than what we saw the, the first time these two teams met. The governor has won in a straight set sweep over the Huron Tigers. And now the Tigers are threatening to take a 2-1 lead over Pierce Sanchez. Now here is Schleck away over, but it's got blocked up by Dale. And the Huron Tigers now taking a 19-11 lead. The last time the Pier Governors were here in, at Riggs High School, they did come back from a 2-1 deficit against a very good Harrisburg Tigers squad to pick up a big five-set win. Remy Price tapped in the net. That goes out of play for the Tigers. It is now 19-12. Remy Price will pick up the kill, her fifth. And a seven-point advantage here for the Huron Tigers in set number three. Elise Christofferson, the serve, goes out, and it's 2012. And Pierre, five points away from going down two to one. So now here on the serve is Emily Dale. Kaiser misplayed it. Boy, they. Could have called a two-hit violation or a lift or something on Kaiser. Didn't call it. Now here's a chance for Kaufman. Kaiser come on with a big diving play and then pushed all the way to the corner and it lands in. And the Governors now down 21-12. Grace Soma will check in for Avery Kaiser. So Grace Soma is in. The junior defensive specialist is in. Kumble to receive the serve. Now Christofferson over from Sanchez. That was tipped at the net and goes Soma. Now here is Kumble across. Hines goes off the net. Soma was able to dig it out, but Ghost will get the kill. And Brent Ghost has taken this set over and a 10 point lead now here for the Huron Tigers. Her ninth kill for Brent Ghost, back to back kills for the 5'9 junior. Nail on the serve again. Here is Christofferson, set it for Schleichway, blocked up, comes back to him. Now here is Sanchez, over, that is gonna go out. And the Governors don't get the point again, it is 23-12, and the Tigers are about to take the second set, or excuse me, third set, take a 2-1 lead, and that will put the Pier Governors in a must win, fourth set to try and keep the Huron Tigers off home court. Soma to receive it. Christofferson set it for Schleckaway, and McKenna Schleckaway will get a kill. Just her second of the night, and Peer needs a lot more of those kills here. They're down by 10, just two points away. Are the Huron Tigers from closing out set number three. Here is Hines, now goes. Goes off the net, goes off the foot of Cumbo, and Brent Ghost is on fire right now. 24-13. Huron's got 11 points to work with here in this third set point. Pierre's got to go an 11-0 run as Hampton Highs in the serve. Cumbo to receive it. Christopher sent it, sent it for, uh, for Kaiser. Now here is Hines to send it for Ghost again, trying to close it out. Christofferson is there. Now here is Kaiser. That's tipped, but played again by the Tigers. Ghost trying to end it one more time. Kaiser is there. Now Sanchez blocked up from Ghost, but played back again. Now here is Kaiser to the near side. Hampton Hines, Huber, now Heaven Ganey. And Christofferson is there again. Schleckaway, that one was off the net. It was tipped by the Huron Tigers. Now here is Cumbo. Free ball for the Tigers. Kaufman had it blocked up. Kaiser, she tripped and fell backwards. She gets back up over from Kaufman. A free ball for the Governors. Now here is Sanchez, a hard kill attempt, but is dug out by Hines. Goes again. Combo comes diving in. 
And then over after Christofferson played at the net. Huber, now Hampton Hines again. Christofferson, Sanchez, now here for Kaiser. That's off and down, and Kaiser gets the point for the Governors. Avery Kaiser gets the kill. Now her 10th, and it's 24-14. But Pierre's got a long road in front of him here in this third set, down by 10. Here is now Combo on the serve. Evan Ganey. Near side goes, tipped by Price. Now near side for Kaiser, off the net. They're, gonna, nope, they're not gonna say it was touched by here on a little bit late on the whistle, but it is 25-14. Huron takes set number three, and it is a 2-1 lead now for the Huron Tigers going into the fourth set. Back in two minutes, you're listening to Pier Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. Sioux Nation in Fort Pier is a proud supporter of area athletes and their fans. Sioux Nation of Fort Pier knows it takes hard work to achieve success in sports and the support of great people. That's why Sioux Nation of Fort Pier is the place for all of your feed, seed, animal health, and grilling needs. They work hard for the community and are thankful for the support of their great customers. Visit Sioux Nation in Fort Pier, 504 Deadwood Street. Sioux Nation supports area athletes. Looking for your next new or used car, truck, or SUV? Then go no further than the comfort of your own home. Shop online at LambMotor.com. On LambMotor.com, you'll find the vehicles Lambs has in stock. You can schedule a test drive or your vehicle's next tune-up all online. New or used, shop for it all online anywhere you are. Lamb Motor has the right vehicle for you. Lamb Motor in Oneida and online, LambMotor.com. At Black Hills Federal Credit Union, our top priority is providing value to our members. Since 1941, we have helped our neighbors buy homes and vehicles, finance their farms and ranches, insure their assets, and retire comfortably. From Custer to Sioux Falls, we live and work in our communities, and we treat our members like family. Visit bhfcu.com to learn more about how you can join. BHFCU is member-owned, not-for-profit, and federally insured by NCUA. It takes hard work to reach goals. It's a truth that applies to more than just sports. It also goes for your financial goals. You work hard for your money. You deserve an investment strategy that lines up with your game plan. Your local Edward Jones financial advisor can help. If your investments aren't getting you closer to the win, visit edwardjones.com or stop by your local peer area Edward Jones office for a financial review. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Back here. It is time to control noxious weeds. Do you have a control plan in place? If not, contact your local weed and pest supervisor to help you set up a plan. Effort now will save you time and money in the future. This is Paul Johnson, South Dakota State University Extension Weed Science Coordinator, asking for your support to get this statewide noxious weed problem under control. Back here as we... Play here in set number four. Governors need this win to keep this ball game alive as they have dropped the third set 25 to 14. It was 25 23 for Huron in set number one. Then it was 25 19 for the Pier Governors in set two. And then 25 14 for Huron in set three. This is a team that's desperate for Huron, and we talked about in the pregame, and we'll talk about in the postgame whether the Governors come back and win it in five or if, the, the, or if Huron wins it in four or five sets as Sanchez gets an over free ball here for Huron to open up this fourth set. Over on the third hit, Combo is able to play it. Nice diving play, and then does go out from Remy Price. And Huron will open up this fourth set with a one nothing lead. The teams that score first are 3-0 and in sets so far here tonight. Over on the serve from Hines, now over from Schleckway. Sanchez trying to put it back in the corner, got too much air underneath it. Now near side for Heaven Ganey, but it is Kaiser to play it. Now near side for Price. That one is dug out by the Tigers. Over from Goats. Now here is Sanchez. Now Price taps it just barely over the net, but Ghost is right there. Hines comes in, Ganey just over the net, and she puts it down. Both Schleckway and Price jumped a little bit, maybe too early, but the Tigers score back-to-back -back points to open up the set and lead it 2-0. 
a desperate team needing a win as they sit in the standings at number 12. The Pier Governors looking to keep pace at number three in the standings. Price goes across. That was dangerously close to the antenna. Goes over, that's tipped. Schleckway gets it back, and it's a diving play from Hampton Hines to keep it alive. And then Kaiser comes over and dives for it. Christofferson, left-handed hit from Price. Got too close to the net. Couldn't tab it over. And all of a sudden, the Tigers have opened up a 3-0 lead here in set number four. It, it's, it's, it's tough to it's try and beat a team twice, a good team twice in a matter of two weeks. Here is Sanchez. Now here's Price off the net. Here is Huber. Near side, Evan Ganey. That is hit out. And the Governors will get the first point here in set number four. And they need, they need this fourth set. Down three to one. Price, that was my, probably going out, but having Ganey played it. Now Ganey will tap it back across the net. Christofferson, Sanchez now, Kaiser. That's a hard hit, and Kaiser goes down and in. And Avery Kaiser has got her 11th kill. Back-to-back -back points for the Governors. They trail by one, 3-2 here in set four. Price to serve. Evan Ganey. Maybe you could call it a lift, but then Ganey goes in the net, so it doesn't matter, and it's now 3-3. So after Huron opened up with three straight points, Pierre Governor's answer with three of their own, and we are tied 3-3 in this fourth set. Remy Price on the serve. Goes to play it. Huber, now Ganey, free ball for the Governor's. Christofferson, Sanchez. Kaiser, hard hit. Huber somehow dug it out, but they can't get it back over. Avery Kaiser picks up the kill, her 12th. A dozen for Avery Kaiser, and Pierre with four in a row. Now lead it by one, 4-3. A fantastic kill from Avery Kaiser. Now here is Hampton Hines, Ganey, over. Fleckway, dough for it, got it. Now Sanchez across in the third hit. Free ball for the... Tigers, Ganey again, excuse me, goes this time. That one was off the wall and down. The Huron Tigers to tie things back up. Ren goes, Emily Dale, the go-to girls for the Huron Tigers in this contest. 11 now for goes, 10 for Dale. Coming to receive it. Sanchez, now here is Kaiser. That was another kill for Avery Kaiser. Hampton Hines couldn't take that one out, of, one out again. Baker's dozen. For Avery Kaiser and kills 13 of the Knights. And it's 15, excuse me, 5 to 4. Combo on the serve from right to left. It's played by the Tigers. Highs to set. Blocked up off of a gainy kill attempt. Sanchez will get the block along with Tewilliger. And it's 6 4. Governors lead it here in set 4. Ganey will take a seat, take a breather here for the Tigers. Come on the serve. Huber had to go back to play it. Tipped at the net, blocked up, and Emily, excuse me, Carson Kaufman's kill attempt was killed. And it's now 7-4, and Josh Lee right away takes a timeout. 7-4 is our score here in set number four. Governors need this one to send us to a fifth set. Back in 30 seconds, you're listening to Pure Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. As long as you have a local cooperative, you'll never farm alone. At CHS Midwest Cooperative, our team is your team, ready to help you make the decisions that are vital to your operation. From the seed, plant health, and marketing the grain, to fuel to keep you running, the feed to supplement your herds, and the financing programs to make it all possible. We're here for you. Give CHS Midwest Cooperative a call today and let us show you the value of the co-op. Local, loyal, and trusted for generations. It is 7-4, Governors. They trail or they lead it seven to four, lead it by three here in this fourth set. Spencer Kelly back at the station. John Wickler here on this Tuesday evening at Riggs High School. Governors will play again. They'll play on Friday at home against Douglas. They will close out the season at home. All four of these remaining home games. So Act 16 and all playoff games will be heard here on KCCR. You can watch leading up to the state tournament here on YouTube at KCCR Sports. It'll be over from Hines on the 
Third hit, tapped over from Sanchez, down for Lily Sanchez, and that's 8-4. And it's a five-kill night for Lily Sanchez now. As Pierre is leading by four in this fourth set. Combo again will serve. Received by the Tigers, set. Kaufman taps it over, Combo dives in. Sanchez had to go over the top of Combo to, to play it. And now High is to set far side, tipped across. Christofferson is there, now near side for Kaiser. That is dug out though, this time by Hampton Hines. It is Christofferson to set, now to Williger, dug out by Goats. Hines again over Huber, across. Christofferson is set from Sanchez to Williger, somehow tapped across by Shukart, and now tapped over by Kaiser. Got it just over the top of Kaufman and Shukart. And it will be Avery Kaiser to make it 9-4 and give her 14 kills now on the night for the Governors. Addy Combo again will serve. Five-point lead for the Governors. Hines now over from Ganey. Christofferson, Sanchez to set for Kaiser. That is off the hands and down for another kill. And Avery Kaiser back-to-back -back kills. The Governors now lead it 10-4. Three straight points of the timeout taken by Huron have gone the way of the Pier Governors. And they lead it by six here in the fourth set. 10-4. Combo skips off the net. It's going to be played back by Hines. Over from Huber. Christofferson is there. Sanchez to set it. Williger got it across, but an easy dig by goes. Near side for Ganey. That's not dug out by Christofferson. And Heaven Ganey will pick up the kill for the near side. And it's now 10-5. And they break the streak to the Huron Tigers. On the serve, Huber across. Now Sanchez. Kaiser near side. That is out. Was not touched by the Tigers. And a miss hit from Avery Kaiser. And it's now 10-6. Huber on the serve, Price to receive it. Sanchez now near side. Kaiser had it blocked up, right back down, and here on a score of three straight points. Cut the lead in half, it's now 10-7 here in this fourth set. And Huber is back to serve another time. Brent Huber on the serve, Christofferson plays it. Over from to Williger, that goes out as it hits the corner judge's foot, who is out of play, it is now 10-8. Four straight now here for Huron. Huber again on the serve. Christofferson will receive it. Sanchez now Kaiser, middle of the floor is blocked up again. And Huron's got another point, five in a row, which is going to lead Coach Stocher to take a timeout. 10-9 is their score here in this four set. Pure clinging to a one-point lead now. Back in 30 seconds, you're listening to Pier Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. When a disaster damages your home or business, you need immediate support from experts you can count on. Service Master is there for your burst and leaking pipes, basement flooding, drying and dehumidification, roof leaks and failures, carpet and upholstery. We know your situation is unique. That's why we give every type of damage in every building the individual attention of certified experts who have the real world experience to come up with the best solution. No type of damage is too big or too small for us to handle. We're standing by 24-7. Call Service Master, 844-902-2938. As we welcome you back, as the Governors, they lead it by one, 10 to nine, here in this fourth set. A one point advantage for the here Governors in this fourth set. John Winkler here on this Tuesday evening. Spencer Kelly back at the station. As Brent Huber, Huber will serve, and then Lily Sanchez puts it in to the net, and it's now 10-10. We are tied here in this fourth set. On the serve, Sanchez to play it. Reese to Williger. That is dug out though by Huber. That one is back, played back again. Now Heaven Ganey will be over from Goes. And then it will be Played here, Huber across and down for a kill for Emily Dale, and it's now 
The Huron Tigers now lead it by one. Brent Huber again the serve. Christofferson, Sanchez, now here is Kaiser. That's off the net, was not off the antenna though. Now on the far side, Kummel to receive it. Sanchez, now Kaiser across. It's played back, it'll be over on the third hit. Sanchez now to Williger, off the net, goes, plays it. And now cross once more time. Over from Sanchez. Not again still for the Governors to get the point. And then it hits all the way to the line, but it stays in. And a point for the Huron Tigers to go up 12-10. And Heaven Ganey picks up the kill. And things are starting to unravel now for the Governors. On the serve, a short serve to Williger played it. Now here's near side for Kaiser. That is somehow dug out and played across by the Huron Tigers. And then to Williger, jumped too soon. It got it over the net though anyway. Now goes from the back row, played across. Sanchez sets it for to Williger. Goes in the net. And it's now 13 tip. And Coach Stosher is going to be, doesn't want to use this final timeout, but she's going to be pretty close to using this final timeout. Governors had a 10 4 lead just moments ago. Nine straight now for the Huron Tigers. Off the net from Sanchez. Dug out though by Huron. Heaven Ganey. That's missed. Played by Christofferson. Tough play for Christofferson. And it's now 14 10. And Heaven Ganey's starting to feel it now. Five kills and 10 straight points for the Huron Tigers. Brent Huber off of Remy Price. An ace, and it's 15-10. And Huber's got her first ace. And Huber, boy, oh boy, things have gotten tough for the Governors now here in this fourth set. Christopherson, Kaiser, that's dug out by Huber. And it'll be set Hampton Hines, that's tipped. That is going to be another kill for Huron as it goes out, but it was tipped by the Governors. And it's 12 straight points, and Coach Stocher will have to take a timeout. It is 16-10. Crowd is a little stunned here at Riggs High School. The Governor is down by six here in this fourth set, needing to win to force a fifth set. 16-10 is their score. Here on leaves it back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Pure Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. At Shane's Pharmacy, your health care is important and Shane wants to be the pharmacist to take care of you. Shane's Pharmacy will make sure your prescriptions are filled in a timely manner. They will answer your questions, and they will even deliver to your home or office. Call 223-9200. Shane's Pharmacy, the pharmacy you know and trust. The number again is 223-9200. Shane's Pharmacy in Fort Pierre, proud to support high school athletics. It is 16 to 10. Coach Stosher has taken both of her timeouts before the Governors were able to get a point. 12 straight have been scored by the Huron Tigers. She called one after four straight points when it was 10 8. Excuse me, five straight points when it was 10 9. And she's taking her next one after seven straight points out of the timeout. Huron is looking to stun the Governors here at home. That one is hit out, and finally the streak comes to an end. 12 in a row scored by the Huron Tigers here in this fourth set. You hope that that doesn't doom the Governors in this fourth set, but it doesn't help them out too much. As Lily Sanchez will serve, goes, plays it near the student section, and then over from Hines, a free ball for the Governors. To Williger, near side for Kaiser. That's tipped, and then played Hines. Huber near side for Ganey, blocked up, but back to Hampton Hines. Goes now to play, got it across. Governor's tapped it back down for Reese to Williger. And it's now 16-12. And Reese to Williger with a big kill. Her third though of the night. We have not seen to Williger get as many kills as we were hoping for. A sub coming in, that's gonna be Addie Moore to check in for Bryn Ghost. 16-12, Governors down by four here in this fourth set. Hines, it'll be over. Remy Price, Sanchez, that was 
Somehow blocked up and played back by the Covenant to get across, and a free ball goes down for Peer. Avery Kaiser got it over, and miscommunication from the Tigers. I think they thought they had the point right before that happened, and Peer catches a huge break to get a point to make it 16-13. Maybe that's what the Governors need to get back in this. Lily Sanchez on the serve. High is to set. Sanchez is able to dig it out, and then miscommunication on Price and Jenna Bush, and it's now 17-13. The Huron Tigers are back down, or back up by four. Olivia Rink will serve. That one goes in the net, make it 17-14. A three-point lead now for the Pier Governors. Avery Kaiser is back to serve. Kaiser on the serve to the back row. High up in the air, Brent Huber will play it back over. A free ball. Kaiser, Sanchez, set it for Bush. Somehow dug out by Reek. Went horizontal and then is hit out by the Huron Tigers to make it 17-15. And Coach Josh Lean will take his timeouts. The Governors are back within two. 17-15 here in this fourth set. Governors down by two, back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Pure Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. Let Country Carpet and Flooring help you update your home or office with the latest fashion trends. With over 30 years of experience, we can help you find the right flooring or window treatments for your needs. Stop down to 414 East Sioux Avenue or call for an appointment at 224-9297 for your free consultation and estimate. Go Govs! 17-15, Governors down by just two as we play here in the fourth set. Coming out of the timeouts, it'll be Avery Kaiser to serve. Josh Lean has been effective taking his timeouts. And this one's a, a big one to take with the governor still down by two. Bren Ghost will check in for Addie Moore. Avery Kaiser will serve. And Kaiser from the middle of the floor across, tips off the net, Bryn goes to play it. Hampton Highs near side. That one's off of Dale and down for a kill. A big point coming out of the timeout for the Huron Tigers. No timeouts left here for the Pier Governors. Emily Dale is now with 12. A dozen kills for Dale. That goes off the net, and that's an ace. And make it 19-15. Roselle's got another ace. That is nine aces now in the game for the Huron Tigers. Avery Kaiser. Is set for Terwilliger, goes in the net, and make it 20-15, and out of the timeout, three straight points for the Huron Tigers. And they're five points away now from closing this out. The near side, Roselle again the serve. Kaiser is Price, a free ball upcoming here for the Huron Tigers. Huber set from Hampton Hines, over from Goes, tipped by Kaiser. Combo plays it back, middle of the floor, and Terwilliger over on the third hit. Hines to set. Dale had it tipped by Price. Now Sanchez back to Price, near side. Goes off the net, was not touched by the Governors. And make it 21-15. And Pierre is now four points away from dropping a, a, a tough one to the Huron Tigers. This will be a tough one to drop late in the season in the standings. Reese to Williger, over. That's down for a kill for Reese to Williger. Got to say, if, if the Governors want to come back, force the fifth set and win a fifth set, Terwilliger's got to be going to be good. Got to be really good. She's got just four kills right now. We got to see that get up to double digits for this Pier Governor squad. Terwilliger on the serve, rink to receive it, tapped over, diving in to Williger, but Price will get called for the net violation, and it's 22-16. A six-point lead again. So now three points away are the Huron Tigers 
from coming into Riggs High School and being the peer governors. Kaiser to receive the serve. Sanchez near side for Price. Here is Hampton Highs near side for far side for Ghost. Off the net and down for Bryn Ghost, who's got now a dozen. And the Huron Tigers now two points away. A desperate team needing a win might have got just that. They don't want to be number 12. They're, they know that they're better than a 12 seed in the Sodak 16 standings. That goes in the net, another service air. 23-17. I think the biggest thing, one of the biggest things is the amount of aces that Huron has had tonight. Nine aces in the game. Yes, they've had their service airs, but that was not the case the first time these two teams met. It's not over quite yet. Pierce got to score quite a bit here. They're down by six, 23-17. Goes to an opportunity. That's dug out by Cumbo. Price now to set. Christofferson will give a free ball to the Tigers. Highs now over. Kaiser, excuse me, Christofferson. Net play, but net violation is called on Sanchez. And the Huron Tigers now have match point and have seven points to work with in match point. Governors will take on Douglas on Friday here at home. They've got all four home games to finish out the regular season. Off the net, Kaiser is able to get a hand to it. Now it's over from Price. Governor's got to score seven in a row. It's got to start right here. Hines goes, and that's dug out by Cumbo. Over to the bleachers. Over from Sanchez. Got it across the net. Hines now near side for Ganey. Tipped, and then Sanchez. Here is Price. That one's tipped to the net. Goes. Hampton Hines over to the corner. Kaiser got to it. Christofferson set it for Price. Tipped in the net again. Hubert near side for Ganey. Rolls off the net. Goes down to the Governors. Remain alive for another point. 24-18. 24-18. Governors got to score in the next six points. Remy Price will serve. And Heaven Ganey to play it. Back to Ganey. Trying to end it. Come on to dig it out. Christofferson, Kaiser near side. It's off the hands. There's a kill for Combo, make it 24-19. Kaiser's got 16 kills. Remy Price, that's the girl you want to have serving. They, they start every game, every set with her serving. Price to the back row. Ganey to play it. Near side is blocked up, but it does not go back across the net. Bryn goes. Picks up the kill, picks up the win. 25-19 in set number four, and the Huron Tigers win it in four sets over the Pier Governors tonight. 25-23 for Huron in set one, 25-19 for Pier in set two. Then Huron wins 25-14 and 25-19 to steal one over the Pier Governors at Riggs High School here this evening. We step aside for three minutes, come back with the post-game show. You're listening to Pier Governor Volleyball on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. This fall, sip on a warm, soothing apple cider and bathe in the radiance of the changing colors before you smash that hot mug on the driveway and join First Dakota to bank some noise for fall sports. Stop for goal line stands, holler for a game-winning ace, and go berserk for a chip in from the rough. Let's give the home team all we've got. Bank some noise with us at First Dakota National Bank. Open a new account online today at firstdakota.com, member FDIC. Faith Lutheran Church prays for God's blessings to all of our athletes and their families. We're proud of the commitment and dedication that you give to your team. We would love for you to join us and celebrate the successes that God gives to us on the field, in the classroom, and throughout our lives. You can worship with us at Faith Lutheran Church on Sundays at 8.30 and 11 a.m. and Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. or you can watch online at faithluth.com slash livestream. The lawyers at the May Adam Law Firm in Pierre know how important your families are to you. If you've been putting off getting your affairs in order, know that the May Adam Law Firm is available to counsel you through your questions and help you get the documents in place so that you've made your loved ones secure. Call them at 224-8803 and they can chat with you about how to document your concerns and care for your family. We're all in this together and the May Adam Law Firm is ready and able to help. 
The frigid air of winter and the blistering heat of summer can really put a dent in your pocketbook. The gang at Weatherall Roofing and Insulation in Pierce say, just foam it. Saving money on your energy bills is what it's all about with Weatherall Roofing and Insulation. Let Weatherall Roofing and Insulation help you save money with their custom spray foam or blow-in fiberglass insulation. Call 224-7982 for a free estimate. And remember, just foam it. Confidence professional care, experience, and diverse care for all ages are what you should be looking for in dental care. And that's exactly what you'll receive from Dr. Monty Bechtold and Dr. Murray Thompson at Peer Dental Clinic. You can expect friendly, caring staff who are concerned about your dental health and offer you complete confidence with routine checkups, early morning appointments, emergency treatment, and the latest in dental technology. Local dental treatment, all at Peer Dental Clinic. Call 224-5355 or stop by their office at 640 East Sioux Avenue in Pier. Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier still wants your trade or your spare vehicle. And we're willing to give you top dollar. And we'll throw in an additional 250 Pier Pride dollars. Sell us your car. And Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota will give you an additional 250 Pier Pride dollars. Trade in your vehicle for a new or different one. And Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota will give you 250 Pier Pride dollars. Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota at 518 East Sioux Avenue in Pier. Call 605-224-7378 and visit Gateway Ford Toyota. As we welcome you back here into the postgame shows up here, Governor, as they fall in four sets to the Huron Tigers. It was 25-23 for the Tigers in set one, 25-19 for Pierre in set two, then 25-14 for Huron and a 25-19 for the Tigers in that four set to take a 3-1 win over the Pierre Governors as the Governors fall to 13-4 on the season. Huron gets a huge win to now be at nine and nine, back to 500 on the year. So that's a that's a big win for the uh, the Huron Tigers. That's a much needed win. We talked about a team that's desperate for a win, and Coach Stosher knew it, and you know the rest of the governors knew it. But it, it is very hard to beat a good team twice in a span of 12 days. I, you don't want to say that one team's got the advantage, especially a team that's eight and nine. But but at the same time, you feel like probably that the the governors didn't have that advantage going in this game. And and yes, you can argue that the Huron Tigers would have liked to win that first game, uh, but a split between the two teams here this year, that's a big uh, that's a big win for the Huron Tigers to go to 9-9 nine nine on the season, and now we'll be uh, trying to close out to taking on Rapid City Stevens and Central this weekend. That's a huge, two huge games for the Huron Tigers upcoming uh, for, for the end of the season for this Huron squad. Pier at 13 and four will get Douglas on Friday as they'll take them on at seven o'clock for serve be on the air at 6.30. As uh, we go through some of the scores across the states, it is O'Gorman knocking off Lincoln three sets to one. Lincoln won the first set, but then O'Gorman came back and won the next three. Sioux Falls Christian, they swept Harrisburg three nothing. And then uh, uh, Roosevelt beat Brookings three nothing. And uh, no scoring updates uh, for the rest of the, the state right now as the Pier Governors uh, were, were dropped here in four sets to the Huron Tigers. Pier will take on uh, Douglas on uh, on uh, Friday at 7 o'clock for first serve as uh, the, the, the Governors will be taking on the uh, will be taking on the Douglas Patriots. We'll have that for you. 6.30 will start coverage. 7 o'clock uh, first serve for that one right here on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. We do have baseball upcoming for you here this evening as uh, we have the game four of the ALCS. Game three, it was the Los Angeles Dodgers picking up a 6-5 win over the Atlanta Braves. We're in the bottom of the fourth right now of the Red Sox and Astros with the Red Sox leading 2-1. Uh, we'll get you the coverage here shortly. Uh, coming up uh, tomorrow evening in his coach's corner live for the Long Branch, 5.30 to 6.30. As we will talk with Coach Tiffany Stosher, one of those guests for the program. We'll talk a lot of high school football as well with Coach Steve Steele, Coach Ma uh, Mark Sefter, and Coach Max Foth of the Governors, Sully Beach Chargers, and the Staley County Buffaloes as both Staley County and Sully Beach will have an opportunity to uh, play in the playoffs tomorrow on Thursday. But we'll talk with both those coaches tomorrow. And we'll also talk with Coach Tiffany Stosher as the Governors uh, we're unable to get the win here tonight, and we'll have a conversation with her about moving forward and, and getting a chance to take on the Douglas Patriots on Friday as uh, they will play them here at home on Friday, the final time that the Governors will play on Friday, uh, other than potentially in the state tournament, which would be the second day of that state tournament out in Rapid City. 
I want to say thanks to Spencer Kelly back at the station as the Governors, they fall in four sets here tonight as we wrap things up from Riggs High School. Huron took the first set, 25-23. The Governors tied it up at 25-19. And then it was Huron winning 25-14 and 25-19 to uh, close out a four-set win over the Pier Governors. Govs fall to 13-4. Huron now at 9-9. Nine and nine. Back on the air, 6.30 for Governor Volleyball on Friday as they take on the Douglas Patriots, 7 o'clock. But then on Thursday, this coming Thursday, we have pure football for you as they, they will take on the Brookings Bobcats. 5.30 will start coverage, 6 o'clock for kickoff between Pier and Brookings on Thursday. One more time, final scores to the Pier Governors as they fall in four sets, 25-23, 19-25, 25-14, and 25-19. And the Governors fall in four sets to the Huron Tigers as we say so long from Rick's High School. You've been listening to Peer Governor Athletics on KCCR and on YouTube at KCCR Sports. Peer Governor Athletics is brought to you by Avera St. Mary's, Sander Auto Parts, Bank West, Weather All Roofing, Faith Lutheran Church, Billion Financial, The Clubhouse Inn and Suites, Ferding Electric, Slumberland, Kruger Contracting, B&B Equipment, Bridget M. Photography, Sioux Nation, Edward Jones Financial, First Dakota National Bank, Gales Gas, Service Master, Gateway Ford Lincoln.